welcome to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how to make this delicious juicy fall off the bone mouth watering finger licking baked chicken Ooh, cha! stay tuned you don't want to miss this I'm trying to tell you friend let's jump right into it so this is the chicken that i'm gonna be using i'm gonna be using some chicken drumsticks i got these from Publix for ten dollars and three cents and this is about five pounds of chicken you can get this cheaper if you get it from like sam's or walmart but i don't really like chicken and stuff from walmart like that because i don't be trusting walmart like that okay but um ten dollars is a little pricey for this but you if you go to Publix, you pay for, for for the customer service so that's why it's a little bit pricey okay all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to clean our chicken you guys you know i'm very big on cleaning my chicken i don't want no feathers on my chicken i don't like that yellow thing on my chicken so i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna take my knife and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna scrape the little ankles of the chicken so it could go ahead and take take them that little yellow part off the little ankles a little bit dirty it's a little, mm, it's a little bit dirty so we gotta go ahead we're gonna clean it a little bit you know we're gonna get that yellow stuff out by scraping Scraping it up and down with the knife and it's gonna come right off it's easy like one two three friend okay it don't take much effort for you to do, do this so i don't understand why you don't be wanting to clean your chicken because it, it don't take too much friend okay so we're just gonna go ahead and do that until it's no longer yellow and it is white okay just like that why this snow like snow white okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna remove those feathers okay because baby i don't like i don't like, i don't like feathers in my food baby uh -uh, uh -uh. i want my food to be nice and non-feathery okay i don't want to feel like i'm eating a bird i don't want to feel like i'm licking a dog i don't want to feel like i'm doing none of that kind of stuff right there okay so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm remove the feathers this is one of the reasons why you want to clean your meat because i don't want no feathers in my meat if it doesn't bother you and you don't mind feeling like you eating a bird or you licking a dog or whatever then baby that's your business you go ahead and you leave it just like that and you eat it just like you like it okay all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna remove some of the fat from the chicken okay Listen, I don't know about you, but I'm trying to be sexy in 2024. I'm trying to be a little bit sexy, okay? So I don't need to eat all that excess fat that I don't need, okay? I'm going to go ahead and just remove some of the fat. I ain't going to be able to remove all the fat, okay? And you want to leave a little bit of the fat on there because, you know, fat is flavor. But, you know, you don't need that much fat, man. Come on now. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to remove some of the fat. We're going to remove some of that excess grease that we don't need from the chicken, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our chicken and we're going to put a slit in the chicken, okay? And the reason we're putting the slit in the chicken is so that flavor that we're going to put on the chicken can get in there okay it can get inside the chicken and it can it can absorb that flavor okay so you see i scraped my knife all over the chicken just to make sure the chicken was nice and clean look how beautiful that is and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do that to all of the drumsticks once we're done doing that we're going to go ahead we're going to make this little mixture that i make right here that i call it a little sanitizing mixture um but it's not really to sanitize the um the meat i don't know i just feel like that's the easiest way for me to call it but it's really just more for the smell of the meat because poultry always have like this poultry smell it smell like outside it smell not too good it smell like raw it smell not appetizing okay i don't like the smell so i gotta go ahead and i gotta clean it with some lime with some vinegar and some lime juice okay and if you don't know what i'm talking about and you never smell the smell it don't smell like outside to you then baby you don't have to do this part okay then because it, it obviously don't bother you and i know i showed you guys a million times if you're not new to my channel on how to clean your meat and you probably like freddie we get it we get it by now we know how to clean our chicken now freddie baby i'm glad that you've been watching i'm glad that you understand and i'm glad that you you you've you been paying attention but you know baby this might be somebody else first time watching my video so you know i gotta let them know how it's done and you know gotta show them how to do it or whatever okay all right thank you for understanding so then we're going to go ahead, we're going to maneuver that lime everywhere onto that chicken just so we can make sure that we get that outside smell out and the chicken don't smell stank or nothing, okay? It's going to smell good. So then we're going to go ahead, we're going to remove one of our gloves because we don't want to have no cross-contamination, okay? Um, we're going to remove one of our gloves because I'm going to touch all that stuff and I don't want to touch that stuff with the glove and then touch the chicken because then the chicken is going to be dirty, okay? All right, so then we're going to go ahead, we're going to use the one hand with the glove that we ain't touch nothing else with and we're going to go ahead, we're 
we're going to clean the chicken. We're just going to go ahead. We're going to make sure we get some of that vinegar we put in there, some of that lime juice we put in there. The chicken gets some of that everything, okay? Just like that, okay, friend? Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to let that sit for like five minutes. Why that sit for five minutes? We're going to go ahead. We're going to grab our bell peppers and our onions. We got green. We got yellow. We got orange. We got all those colors. We're going to go ahead. We're going to chop them up like you see I did. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to take a half an onion and we're going to go ahead. We're going to chop it up like you see I did. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my little, my little thing that I got, whatever, my little garlic presser thingy that I got from Shein for like 89 cents, friend. Ooh, child. You can't beat that. 89 cents, friend. I had went ahead and I put the garlic in there and I started squeezing it. I started to get mad as hell because I was like, this thing don't even work. But you know what? I couldn't even be too mad because, baby, you know what? I paid 89 cents for it. But then you know, know i didn't want to give up you know i wanted to keep on trying i was like maybe it's just me friend i kept trying and the garlic came right out Ooh, child, you couldn't tell me nothing friend i was so excited i was like look at what 89 cents done got me look at that friend i was too happy i'm trying to tell you go ahead and get you one and she in for 89 cents friend they don't get no better than that i'm trying to tell you that thing made it so easy look at the garlic look at the garlic it came right out and i was able to get this little part out and get the excess of the garlic friend i was so excited then i went ahead and i put them into a bowl yes i put it into a plastic plate because baby who's trying to wash all them dishes not me <laughs> so then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go back to the chicken and now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna wash the chicken we're gonna wash out the vinegar and the lime and all that stuff that we put into the chicken and you guys look how clean that chicken look look how clean don't it look better than it did from the beginning please lie to me and tell me that it don't because baby you 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 a liar because that's what you is you you a liar if you could sit up there and say that chicken don't look better than it did when we started it looks so nice and clean it look like it's ready to be seasoned it look like it's ready to be seen okay that chicken is ready for the red carpet <laughs> i'm trying to tell you that chicken is ready for the world look at it Sha. then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take our paper towel and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna pack the chicken dry i'm taking my time and doing this to every single individual okay once i'm patting it dry i'm gonna go ahead and i'm put it on the cutting board then after that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take the bowl that it was in i'm gonna rinse it out a little bit and i'm gonna use that paper towel to make sure that the um bowl is dry okay okay and i did go ahead and show you guys that the chicken was on the cutting board and not just sitting on a counter okay because that's a little bit nasty and we don't we, we don't do that in my kitchen okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put the chicken back into the bowl and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add six tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and the reason why we're adding the olive oil is because it's going to make the seasoning stick onto the chicken okay that's why we're doing that then we're gonna go ahead we're going to add one tablespoon of lemon juice okay this is also going to help with the poultry smell but this is also going to give it a little bit of flavor then we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our onion powder and our garlic powder, and we're adding one tablespoon of that. Remember, onion powder and garlic powder are non-salt based seasonings, so you're not adding salt using those. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to add Montreal um, chicken, and we're adding one tablespoon of that. Kicking chicken, one tablespoon of that. We're going to add some lemon pepper, one teaspoon of that, and we're going to add adobo, one teaspoon of that. Then we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our paprika, and we're going to add one teaspoon of that, and later on, you will see I add one teaspoon of cayenne next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix everything together make sure every piece of chicken got some of that seasoning then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab the um bell peppers onions and garlic that we chopped up earlier and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put it on the chicken and just maneuver everywhere and there go the cayenne that i told you guys about okay all right then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one cup of italian dressing you guys this is gonna make your chicken taste so good trust me trust me friend trust me go ahead and add that in there's gonna take your chicken to another level take it to a new dimension your taste buds is gonna be in your mouth doing the hokey pokey because that's how good the chicken is gonna taste i'm trying to tell you friend i'm trying to tell you and for the people talking about that's too much seasoning friend it's not too much seasoning you 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 the kind of people that be in your kitchen with Dasani, Aquafina, and Zeppa Hill talking about, oh, let me season this chicken. Mm, okay? Because trust me, this is not too much seasoning. It's just enough. Trust the process, friend. You ain't going to regret it, okay? Then I went ahead and I put my chicken onto a tray, a baking tray. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the remainder of my seasoning and I'm going to put it all on top of the chicken, you guys, okay? Make sure no seasoning is left behind because we need that, baby. We ain't seasoning our chicken with Aquafina and Zeppa Hills, okay? All right. Then after that, we're going to go ahead. We're going to cover the tray with aluminum foil. We're going to place it in the oven in the middle rack 
at 350 degrees for one hour and 20 minutes okay you guys look how good that chicken looking it ain't even cooked yet Child, i'm trying to tell you boom while that's in the oven child this right here is for the people that's always talking about salmonella and why you don't clean your chicken let me introduce you to my little friend this is called bleach and i'm gonna introduce you to his friend called soap you put that bleach and you put that soap together friend salmonella who you put that you, you when your water running like that i got hot water running baby it's steam coming from my water baby you go ahead you wash everything with that bleach with that soap you wash your sink just like that friend Z Simonella, who? You don't clean your chicken for what, friend? You do your chicken like that. You do your sink like that. You ain't got to worry about getting sick. You worry about getting sick because you don't be cleaning your, your sink. Friend, as long as you clean your sink and you clean your stuff, you're going to be good to go. Friend, I'm trying to tell you, make sure you clean your chicken and clean your sink. Okay? All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the chicken out of the oven. After one hour and 20 minutes, we're going to extract the juice out of it. We are not disposing the juice, okay? We need that for later on. You see, it's in a bowl, okay? We're going to leave that for later on. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add one tablespoon of butter onto that chicken to give it a little bit more flavor. And we're going to add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil on the top, friend, okay? Trust me, friend, all right? Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put it back in the oven, middle rack at 350. 50 degrees for one hour and baby this how the chicken look when it come out the oven baby look at that chicken oh look at that chicken friend so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that water that we extracted from the chicken earlier and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna just put it over the chicken and this is just gonna make your chicken more juicier okay it's gonna make sure you don't have no heart behind chicken it's gonna make sure when you bite that chicken your teeth don't start shaking because the chicken's so darn hard okay we're just going to go ahead. We're going to use some of that water and just put it all over there. You put how much you want. You don't have to put the whole thing in there. I ain't used the whole thing. I did about five, five spoons. And baby, look at that chicken. Look how good that chicken look. You guys, let's go ahead and give this beautiful baked chicken a moment of silence for the beauty that it holds. Yes, chai. Yes, look at that chicken. Don't don't play with that chicken. That chicken ain't coming to play with nobody. This chicken is the showstopper. This chicken walked into the room and it's no, it's that chicken. Can't nobody tell it. It's not that chicken, okay? You woke up from the dead and you came back and it was still that chicken. Baby, don't play with that chicken. Ooh, don't play with this baked chicken. Find somebody else to play with, baby. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, friend. This chicken right here is the chicken to not be played with okay find somebody else to do it hey thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye until next time